Alright, just wanted to do a video responding to Edward Fenninger's recent video responding to me. Uh, responding to my video, I did responding to his video he did on me. And uh, I do have just a couple questions I want to uh, ask Fenninger because um, Fenninger is at the position that salvation has always been the same and that there's been eternal security in every single dispensation. And I just do have a couple questions um, and I just want to get his, get his answer to. So uh, I'll just play this video first. Good morning. It uh, appears I received a response video to my response video uh, from Faithful Servants. And uh, he's put up a video saying he can prove that you can lose your salvation during the time of Jesus. Uh, and um, let me go back in to the beginning. Now, in the beginning, he's, he makes a very important concession. He says, uh, I was correct when I, when I pointed out the issue of being cut off. And I do lose eternal salvation. So basically what happened was that in my video that he responded to, um, I, I said a couple times, or I, I went through a bunch of verses where it talks about being cut off from among the people in the Old Testament. And basically, I, I, was, I, I basically believed that that meant you're being like you're losing your salvation. But what it actually meant was that you're being cut off in like a physical sense, like you're being kicked out of the nation of Israel, basically. So, I mean, in my past video, I mentioned how Ed Fenninger did correct, did, did obviously correct me on that. And, you know, he is right. You know, I was wrong in that area. But uh, do you have a couple questions I would like to ask? Uh, just you know, get his sincere answer to. So number one, if salvation has always been the same, I just have the questions written down here. If salvation has always been the same throughout Old Testament and New Testament, why did saints in the Old Testament go to Abraham's bosom when they died, but then were taken into heaven after Jesus Christ died on the cross? Because they're only taken to heaven after Jesus Christ died on the cross. Before then, they're in Abraham's bosom. Number two. If a Christian takes the mark of the beast, do they lose their salvation in the time of Jacob's trouble? Because I've, you know, I also I've heard the argument that well, a Christian won't take the mark. Okay, but if they did, would they lose their salvation? Like if they if they chose. So I mean, even if they know, okay, I know it's the mark of the beast, but I'm still going to take it anyway. Would they lose their salvation? And number three, what about Matthew chapter 24 verse 13? Let me show you that. Matthew chapter 24, verse number 13. It says. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Huh? So you have to endure to be saved? Well, again, who is this written to? It's uh, written to Jews in the time of Jacob's trouble. They have to endure to the end to be saved. And and the proof that this is written to the Jews, verse 16, Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. It's talking about the Jews, they're in Judea. And of course, jump down to verse 20. It talks about, pray ye, not, pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. So it's clearly to the Jewish people. But if salvation has always been the same and there's eternal security in every single dispensation, why does verse 13 says that he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved? So those are my three questions. I would, you know, like to hear his response to it. I mean, if he, if he does respond, I will definitely check out his response. Uh, but, you know, just, uh, just that's my response to his video. So anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.